showing you how to make a shaped card and add your own score lines to it. So let's get started. Um, something that you guys all should think about when deciding on what kind of um, shaped card you want to make is always consider does it have a shadow. Not all cuts have shadows and I like to only use ones that do because it gives a little bit of wiggle room um, for welding the two shapes together. So just, you know, think about that before you um, choose something that doesn't have that. I chose this watermelon you see here. It is from Simply, Simply, let me look. I'm so prepared. Simply Charmed, that's what it's from. And um, it has a um, shadow. I had It was turned off, turned it on. And now I'm gonna separate the it by ungrouping this whole thing here so I can isolate the part um, or the, um, the shadow. I need to isolate the shadow. So I'm going to pull all this off and here we go. I got the shadow now and now I'm going to duplicate that and I do that by right clicking, copy, and paste. Okay, so now I've got two of them. And to make them go together, I'm going to come over here to edit and I'm going to flip it. You see how that matches up? I line it up like that. Then I'm going to select this entire portion here and then right click and I'm going to weld it. Okay, so now this is one piece. Now, I'm going to go to the left hand side here where it says insert shapes and I'm going to grab this score line. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. All right. I'm going to make it larger. Let's put it over here so I can see it easier. All right. Come on. Get a little smaller. Okay, now I'm going to select it all again, and then I'm going to attach. Okay. Now I can go and put everything back together. Let's bring this, put this all together and then group it. So it makes it much easier when you do that. I just love these little watermelons. They're so cute. Okay. And Simply Charmed is a really cute cartridge anyways. And I like how it layers from the bottom up. It makes things very easy. Da da da. And I'm going to change the color probably of the card itself or the, uh, um, the base that I just created to make it a little bit easier because here's the thing. You don't want it a black base because then you can't see the stamp on the inside. So we're going to group that together and then it would go right there. I'm going to group the whole thing, and I now would have a shaped card. Let's make it pink. So there you go. Isn't that easy? So simple, didn't take very long, and I've made a shaped card, and I've got it scored. So perfect. Actually, probably when I cut this, I will pull this further down. 
so that it lines up with the bottom. But there you go. Won't that be a cute card? In the next video, I'll show you how to add text to the inside of it. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great day. You can always catch me, Courtney Lane, Courtney-Lane.com. Have a great day, everybody.